Alright guys, so here's a um, a 2 minute plus 2 second blitz game, hopefully um, get a good game out of this. I'm going to stream, try to explain what I'm trying to do. Alright, taking control of these two key squares in the middle. Uh, let's let's trade off. See how it goes with that. Oop, cool. I don't mind trading off like that, that looks fun. Okay, we might try to target the pawn there somehow. Bishop looks suited here. Right. This is good because it, it stops those pieces coming in. Not sure why he's sacked there. He might work. No, that's alright. He might be wanting to attack that pawn. So I need to defend it. Once I defend it, it should be fine. Um, looks like I'm just up a piece right now. So that's fantastic. Um, oh, there's plenty of time. I, I, didn't realize. Let's go here, just to consolidate with the knight here, just to block his queen and make sure he's not too active. Okay, I feel like the other thing going forwards. Let's go forwards. Okay, he might be wanting to do that. I've got both bishops pointed at his king, so this is quite powerful, quite useful. I can even, um, that's really good, I can even uh, take this knight and, oh, he's gone backwards. This looks weak, that looks weak. I want to line up a, a queen somehow. So let's uh, jump our way in. Let's go here. My, my plan is to head here um, and try to draw even more weaknesses if he pushes. Also, um, you know what, let's just go for a checkmate, let's bring the queen in. Let's go here. If, if he defends somehow, I can take this pawn. Okay, yeah, let's swap off. I mean, I'm up a pawn and I've got this nasty bishop going into his base, so that's, that looks great, looks really good for me. Now, that's my next target, because I've got my rook lined up going straight in. I can even sack here if I want. Mm. How do I target this pawn? That doesn't do too much, let's um, try to break him open. Okay, now I've got that pawn targeted. No, I don't. Well, let's go for a sack. Fun to sack. Um, I've got a discovery on him, so let's take out the knight with the discovery. If he goes forward, I've got another check on him, which is handy. To say the least, if I don't go for a check, what can I do? I don't really want to lose another piece. This king looks so naked. Um, let's take this guy out. Go for a check like this. He's probably going to take that guy. Um, all right, it's even, but my king is a lot safer than his. So that looks pretty good. Hmm. Let's go here. Not sure what he does, but I've got this threat coming. Oh, he's blocking it. Smart move. Let's go here. That renews the threat. Hmm. I'm running out of time. Let's go here. I'm retreat him. Secure him again. Maybe even here. Ooh, let's go here. Keep that guy defended. Keep everything defended. I've got to pull him back next. Oh, 
Oh, it might be checkmate soon if I can manage to land that. Let's try it. If he goes in there, I think that might be mate. Is that a mate? That's mate. Fantastic, that was a good game. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, let's go for a quick um, review. What, what I like about um, Lee Chess is... Oh, I gained 150 rating. Fantastic. Alright. Let's have a look. We'll, we'll ask the computer as well. Now the computer's doing... Cool. Um, anyway, let's go back a bit. Love it. Sounds like popcorns. Um, Alright, so over here... What do we have? I don't usually do this, but I just thought this is um, the better of the bishops. This guy's already blocked in, so he's a pretty bad bishop. This one's a better one. I would uh, tempting him to trade him off. Probably not the best move. Usually, I would push there instead, just to expand in the center. If he takes, I take, and um, free development. I get better development there. Over here, I'm still trying to egg him on to capture. He looks like he's trying to aim at this pawn somehow or take out this diagonal. Not too scared about that. So anyway, secured him in because I'm really wanting him to um, take. He moves there. He wants to put his knight into this outpost. So that's to defend it. I can just take him off. If he comes in. That, once again, not sure. I think he's just trying to um, really trade this guy off. I'm not scared because he's well defended, so that seems to be a blunder there. Because he just lost a piece for two pawns early in the game, which is not ideal. Alright, so king to safety. I've got this nice open line into his king, so if he ever does anything like castles, I've got a pretty good attack there. You can see my bishop is, is looking alright. I, I do plan to move my bishop here, just so that I can be aimed at his king. He castles right into it. The computer's already liking my position here because he's he's lost a piece for nothing. Um, now I could have been more active here instead of taking it slowly. Uh, so I, I wasn't a fan of this move. That looked like it was going backwards. I think what I could have done is try to get my queen in quicker, like what's suggested. Um, maybe even sack that or something like that. Somehow progress a bit quicker. That seemed a bit slow to me. Okay, so over here, I think what would have been great was if I could get my queen in. It would be a checkmate threat already, because both my bishops are really well um, positioned. All my pieces are heading towards this king, so uh, my position is heaps better. I felt I played a bit slowly. Apparently, the computer likes my moves. The computer still likes my moves, so I'm doing well. The queen trade's probably not necessary because I feel that I was the stronger opponent here. I still want to do stuff quick. So I'm not sure if this was too accurate. I sacked a piece there. It just felt correct because I didn't want to go backwards. I wanted to keep attacking. He looks like he's in a lot of um, pressure. So sack because the rook always has a discovered attack. Um, there might have been a better move order. I'm not sure. Because by this stage, I'm actually sacking two pieces. Oh, there was a better one here. I could attack his book or something. But I mean, over here, my pieces seem more active than his. Much, much more active. Alright, and that was a checkmate. So that, that was a blunder. Um, kind of pretty. Uh, I've circled him. Everyone's protecting each other. Um, whenever your enemy's king's in the middle of the board, it's always good to try to find, um, try to get all your pieces on him. As you can see, I've only got three pieces left, one, two, and three, and they're surrounding his king. That's how you checkmate them. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one. Enjoy, and um, see you next time.